हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर क्वांटिटी मॉडल विद प्राइस डिस्काउंट्स फ्रेंड्स दिस मॉडल इज सिमिलर टू द इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर क्वांटिटी मॉडल वन द ओनली डिफरेंस इज ऑफ प्राइस डिस्काउंट सो लेट अस सपोज दिस इज अ प्राइस डिस्काउंट शेड्यूल विच इज कोटेड बाय ए सप्लायर इन विच प्राइस ब्रेक अकर्स एट बी ओके the price break occurs at quantity b1 and here the price is c1 and c2 this is the discounted price the discounted price is always less than the previous price okay the algorithm for solving this model is first of all we have to consider the lowest price which is c2 okay now let us discuss an example this is the one of the most important example here the annual demand for a product is 10000 units here i had written demand is equal to 10000 units per year each unit cost rs 100 if the order are placed in quantities below 200 units so here the cost is 100 if the quantity ordered is below 200 that is 0 to 200 quantity the price is 100 rupees okay for order 200 or above However, the price is RS ninety five, and for the quantity above two hundred or equal to two hundred, the price is ninety five rupees. It means that there is a discount of five rupees. The annual inventory holding cost is ten percent of the value. It means holding cost, which is holding cost, is always equal to if it is in percentage, then it is equal to R into cost, where R is the required, where R is the given percentage. Sorry. So here the given percentage is ten rupees. That is ten percent of the price of item. That is ten by hundred. And price which is equal to cost. Cost is ninety five and hundred. Here the hundred is price and then discounted price is ninety five rupees. Ordering cost is RS five per order. Okay. Now we have to find the economic lot size. So. we will discuss the solution of this problem by the given algorithm here first of all in the first step we have to consider the lowest price that is c2 which is discounted price and determine q star 2 by using the previous method which we have already discussed in the economic order quantity model 1 okay so here the optimal order quantity based on price c2 which is 95 rupees is given by Here C two is equal to twice of D into ordering cost. Here D is the annual demand. So annual demand is ten thousand unit per year. So I had written here and then C ordering cost divided by C two. Here the C two is ninety five and then R is ten percent. That is zero point one zero. Okay. After solving, I will get one hundred three units approximately. Now. If Q star two lies in the prescribed range, that is B less than or equal to Q star two. Here B one is the quantity at which quantity discounts occur occur, or we can say that price break occur. Here B one is two hundred rupees. Here B one is two hundred rupees at which price breaks occur. Price breaks means discount. Okay, so I have to take that B one less than or equal to Q star two, but Here Q star two, which is one hundred three, which is neither less than two hundred, sorry, which is neither greater than two hundred nor equal to two hundred. So we have to proceed further. If this follow, then the required Q star two is the required economic order quantity. But here the Q star two is less than, strictly less than B. So I have to proceed to the step number two. Here Q star two is strictly less than B one. Then we have to calculate Q star one with price C one. Okay. Now if Q star two is greater than R equal to this one, that is B one, then the required Q star two will be the economic order quantity. But here Q star two is strictly less than this B one. So we have to find out Q one. With regard to the price, hundred rupees. That is C one. So calculating Q one, I will get twice of D into ordering cost upon C one into R. So I had put the value two into ten thousand into ordering cost is five rupees, 
and then here C1 will be 100 rupees into 0 0.10. After calculating, I will get 100 units. Now, and then we have to uh, compare the total cost with respect to B1 and total cost with respect to Q star 1. Now we have to calculate the total cost with respect to quantity Q1, Q star 1 and total cost with respect to quantity B. So here the total cost with respect to quantity Q star 1 will be followed by this formula D into C1 plus D into Q star 1 into ordering cost plus Q star 1 upon 2 into C1 into R. Here D is the demand which is 10,000 into C1. The cost corresponding to Q star 1 is C1. So here 100 rupees. So I had written here 100 plus D is 10,000 divided by Q star 1. Here Q star 1 is 100. So I had written here into ordering cost is 5 rupees plus Q star 1 100 upon 2 into cost which is 100 rupees okay cost corresponding to q star 1 into 0 0.10 0 0.10 is the r which i had written here okay so after calculating i will get this value now the total cost corresponding to b here b is the quantity at which quantity discounts occur here the quantity is rs 200 that is b is 200 so i had written here B 200 here 200 and other uh, other variables are same okay so after solving I will get this value now if total cost with respect to B1 is greater than total cost with respect to Q1 simply I can say that the cost which is minimum we have to choose the total cost which is minimum and corresponding to this cost the quantity will be the required economic order quantity or we can say that the quantity corresponding to the least cost is the required optimal quantity here the least one is this so the optimal quantity or we can say that economic order quantity will be corresponding to this cost corresponding to this cost is b so b is 200 so economic order quantity will be 200 units so this is the required answer friends if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching.